No, I just messed up. Oh god, I just messed up. Oh god, oh god. Jesus. Good morning, everyone. My name is Alex, and welcome back to Dera Valley on episode two of me learning how to drive trains. And we're here at the station office, and I've kind of uh, I've kind of moved locations. I'm up here at the uh, the factory food factory in town, uh, which is on top of the world apparently. <laughs> and uh, we were down here in the last one. I ended up taking a job which I thought was going to pay well, and it didn't. So what we need to do is we need to get out of here. And what I'd like to do is one of these two jobs. So we have we can deliver cat food, uh, which is ready to go. Train mass is uh, 240 tons. Uh, and the length is 108 meters and pays out 10 grand. This is going to go down the harbor in town. Both of these will. So I think this one might be the better bet. It's 340 tons. Uh, it's right at the limit of what our little shunter guy can pull. And I do have the stuff for this. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this. So I need to pick up... Uh, probably going to be, yeah, C8O is the uh, track number that we're going to be on. And we need to, I want to say it's this one. So I did have some pretty good comments about, um, like, how to read uh, how to read the maps and everything. And that really did help out a little bit. So this is 840, and this is us right here, uh, these guys. So we should be able to hit it and get it. Now, the best way to get out of here is probably I'm going to turn the loco and I'm going to hit the switches and we're going to get hooked up and probably go because the, the other way is all uphill and I use three quarters of a tank of fuel uh, with a lot lighter load uh, on the way back. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this loco so we're going to go ahead and click 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 and she does run okay so let's go ahead pop you in gear and if I release the brakes this thing will actually move there we go and we're gonna be on point today so I need to be in this track uh, if you couldn't tell, I have been uh, learning. <laughs> We're going to try to make a little bit of money. I'd like to do two jobs in today's episode, so I'm going to do a little bit of cutting. Uh, as long as uh, nothing nothing goes too awful wrong, I would really like to get the license for the next uh, the next guy here. The, the bigger train is what I'm trying to say. Now we do have 52 minutes to complete this one, so that's what I'm really kind of kind of shooting for here. Now what we'll do as soon as I get uh, hooked up here is we're going to build up a lot of speed as this engine likes to run hot before we even hit the hill. I want to be up to speed just as fast as I can get there because we're going to have to make a, uh, a right turn uh, basically out of here and it's like a one and a half percent two percent great I'm in the wrong cut probably not the smartest idea I've ever had but don't you go here this this guy here and here there we go should be good to go let's go ahead and just It'll get air here in just a second, then we'll start moving. Pull, baby, pull. That's all we're going to say today. We just need to get there. And now that I've got like kind of a better understanding of how the game works, we're going to just go flying down through here. We're going to hit the, the first right-hander right here, and then a right-hander, and then we're going to just bomb through the steer, steel mill as it's pretty flat. Um, there are a couple little hills, but nothing... Nothing too bad. Getting a little bit of wheel slip. There we 
we go. We are underway. Everything is behind us, right? Yes, we're good. So just need to kind of keep an eye on that temperature, and we're just going to start applying just a little bit more speed until we get that fun wheel slip message. But we are climbing, and I want to get up out of this climb before the temp gets too high. I did pretty good earlier. I didn't hit the I didn't hit the warning bell on the temperature, so you know, should be doing pretty good. But I did use a ton of fuel, and I mean an absolute ton. Now the next license that we gotta have is like twenty thousand dollars or thirty thousand dollars. That's why I wanted to do two jobs today. I want to get out of this little engine and get into the get into the little bit bigger one. Yeah, I see we're at a plus two percent grade right now. It's a little a little bit much for our little engine that could. Yeah, now I'm gonna have to pull back a little bit here. Temp is getting a little little spicy with it. Plus we have a, a three turn and I don't like hitting them too quick. I know I know the name of the game is Derail Valley, but uh, I'm really trying not to. And I'm not doing too bad for my first time playing. I haven't done anything that screams Hey, you big idiot! You messed up. So you could you could tell me if I'm wrong or not, but I think this is the heaviest train that I've pulled. It's definitely I, I shunted a couple things earlier, and this is heavier than those. So I think we're doing a okay. Ooh, almost did it there. I got a little after it, but uh, we are doing okay. It's just very slow up out of this hole. Like I said, we're we're, we're climbing at two percent. So, while it's climbing... <laughs> oh god, where am I? Where is this switch? Right here. Gonna get that guy set over. Come on, little fella. You can do it. <laughs> I know you can. I know it's heavy. We just need to get up over this. I promise. I promise this is the hard part. And then we'll let you rest, okay? Okay, I'm going to have to smoke the engine here. It's not... Come on, baby. Just do it. Get back up to speed. I'll let you rest after this hill, I promise. Oh, man. I'm really hurting my engine here. I don't like this. It just needs to get a little bit more of the weight up. Oh, well, there's our... There's our temp warning. I don't think I can give it another notch. blasting through the sand. I'm going to have to I'm going to have to mistreat this thing. I don't like mistreating it. It's been a good little feller for us and I don't uh, I don't I don't uh, don't like doing that to the good little guy. But I just need him to get back up to speed. Yeah, I know. I know it's hot. Come on. Come on. It levels right there. Come on. You can do it. Come on, little feller. Just a little bit farther. Oh god, the engine shut off. Okay, we're finally... I think we're on the downhill. I can't remember if this continues to go up or not. I know it goes up on the other side. Come on, buddy. In all honesty, that's really not that hot. Yeah, it's 200 degrees, but if this is a closed-loop system, it should run to 230, like, kind of normally. <laughs> Honestly, like I'm, I'm not even, you know, joking. That's what. Uh, okay, yes, we're going downhill. Oh, little feller, you done me good. Now you take a rest, cause we're gonna have to bomb it through <laughs> through the steel yard to make it up the other hill. Look at you picking up speed, speed and power. <laughs> yeah. All right, now we can let our boy rest here. I just need to modulate the speed for any kind of coming curves. I want to coast to 50 and I don't think we've got anything too sharp on this line right here. Okay, let's just let's, let's grab a little bit of break. Took a pretty big bite there. 
And whenever we get down to this flat land, we can absolutely fly. That's a six turn, one third of a mile here. We're going to just grab a little bit more. Just kind of bleed off some of this speed. Alright, we are aligned to the right. We should be going right. Okay, we're good. Alright guys, it's uh, going to be a pretty straight shot to the uh, the steel mill. So, unless something odd changes, I'll see you whenever we start bombing through that yard. Well, we're hitting it off now. Almost 70? Yeah, we're, we're cooking with gas. So, if I'm not incorrect, this should still be lying for us, right? Because we... We haven't changed anything, or at least I haven't. I haven't been this way since the last time we were through. So unless something's... Like, unless something's there, I don't see what would be changed, but we're about to find out. Okay, we're bombing for that center track, I hope. There's nothing rendered in. Center track is clear. Let's go. Unstoppable music plays. I crash. The town of Pennsylvania. You know, the whole town of Pennsylvania just dies. Need to keep the heat in check. Why you always get so hot on me? Nothing I can do about that because we might need the. We might need to use all the engine here in just a second, so I don't want it to be overheated. We are carrying a ton of speed, so. Uh, looks like the next way in is going to be a left and a left, so let's make sure we got it. And we're still having to climb up out of here, so let's add a little bit of sand, a little bit more power. Come on, baby, just cool down. I need to cool down before this next run. Come on. Okay, we've got a right turn and a left turn, and then we're there. So we need to start figuring out where this is going. So it's going to D4 intake. Uh, so that's going to be one of these buttons. Wait, I'm going to write it probably right. Yeah, Harbor Station D4. Got a little little worried here. Okay, so we're going back to the crane. Okay, good. I'm I'm okay with that. I know where that is. And we got to do this how fast? 52 minutes. I've been recording 39. It's going to be pretty close. Took us a lot of time to get hooked up, so You know what they say though, don't you? Confidence will get your killing done. This is probably how I do it. Okay, we're lined to the right, which is correct. So I shouldn't have to tap the brakes any. And we're going back downhill. Okay, good. Engine can rest a little bit. Or I can apply power for more speed. A six here. It's going to get a little twisty. I think that that kink is a five. So we're going to maintain this speed. I want to I wanna try to beat this time if we can. Like, it's going to be... It's going to be fairly close. I just need to remember exactly where I have to go. Oh, shh. Uh, big hand. Big one. Big, big, big one. Big, 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 big bites. Big bites. Big 
Big bites. Still back there, huh? Good. Ooh, <laughs> that was scary. Okay, we're coming in from the west here, so I need to go up and around the shop and then hit the second Y junction, and we're going to go uh, right into that. We're downhill, so let's get a little bit of speed here. Come on, Alex, you can do this, man. You can beat the timer. I know you can do it. Just don't get greedy. There should be only one switch that I've changed uh, whenever I left because I went out the back way. And D4. D4I is going to be the left side up top. I hope that was right. Six, five, four. Yep. Okay, we're good. Get me there. Get the train in the siding. Let's go. Come on. Oh, man. This is going to be tight. Come on. Get in here. Get in here. Get in here. Uh, this. This. This guy, shut up, you, come on, come off the thing, come off the thing, there we go, uh, ding, 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 uh, office, 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 uh, uh, uh. come on, yes, yes, <laughs> You can stay right there. Oh, guys. Oh, baby. <laughs> Hit me with the triple. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, what kind of fees do we have? Okay, I'm going to need to pay 3100 so we're good. I'm, I'm okay with this. Okay, let's get the, I think it's called the DE6. Yes. You need to own two concurrent drop. No! Uh-uh, no way. That's... Just sad. Okay, there's something I did want to go take a look at. So there are steam engines. <laughs> and I think that that's really, really cool. So SH-282 is the license we need for this. And I still need other things for, yeah, D6. Dang it. Okay, well, let's go see what they got. Let's just check everything out. Like, I don't want to do the same thing. I don't want to go right back to Food Factory in town. Like, that's not... That's not fun. City Southwest? Oh, but that takes long, too. Dang it. Long one, 330 tons. Goods Factory in town from the harbor town is 13,000. Goods Factory in town. So that's right up there. And we'd have to go, yeah, because it has to go a certain way. So we'd have to go back the way that we come, 
uh, up and around the steel mill. There's no way I can hit that that limit. I, I mean, we're going to try it, but it's 330 tons. Okay, where's it at? D60, okay. I need to get the train itself turned around. Uh, I'm not going to take that one. Okay, for once I'm actually aligned, so we're going to hook this thing quick, and we're going to get it we're going to get it going good here in a second. So, it's going to be a fast hook. And I'm going to go confirm the train. 887. 475. Okay, yeah, we're good. Donk. I've apparently uh, damaged the the fun boy. So we're going all the way back up to the north rail. So I don't have to do any switches. I just need to be concerned about my speed. That's it. Not even that long of a train, but man, it feels heavy. So we've got how much time on this one? Thirty-seven minutes. I'm going to say the 5 minutes has already passed, so we have 32 minutes, so my timer is going to be 140, so we have 30 something minutes right now to get there. I think I'm asking too much of this poor little shunt. I really am. It's just... <sighs> These loads are so heavy for this little fella. I'm just, I'm asking too much of this thing. There's no way we're going to make it on time now, and I'm already through halfway of my sand, and... That's another 0.5% grade. I think it climbs most of the way out. If we can just make it to the to the next Y, I th think that I can do it. But I, I don't think we're going to make it in time. I just really need this engine to cool down. Like, like right now. <laughs> that would be great. If it would just um, not be so hot. It's trying so hard. I'm so sorry, little guy. Come on. If you can get up to speed, I can let you rest. Come on. I know it's hot. Come on. You're almost at that half percent. Come on. We just need to get you off this steep. I know. I know it's hot. I know everything's going wrong. We're going to get there, but we ain't going to get there in time. Poor little engine just we lost a lot of time trying to trying to get up that hill I should have what I need to start doing is hooking up the engine first and getting ready to go and then turning uh, tr uh, turning in the old job report that would give me a little bit more time I think if I can make it to the other side of this tunnel I'll be okay I can shut it down real quick okay yes it does it is flatten out okay good Good, good, good. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. It's not going to be in time, but we'll be able to do this. Open it all the way back up. And look how fast the heat comes up because it was completely cooled off. We've been coasting for a hot minute. And it's like, nah, we're going to we gonna warm right back up. Okay, this is our last big curve before we're going to bomb it down through the yard again. Okay, so we need to be cautious of where we're going. It looks like we're going to D5N. Uh, and that is in the GF station. GF. GF must not be that good. <laughs> um, come on. So we're going to be coming in from the southwest because that's the only way in. We're going to go, it looks like, all the way back. So D, f what was it called? D5I. D5I, okay. So 
first switch clicks second. So right, 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 left is where we need to be. Come on, baby, we're almost there. You got this. You just gotta hang on just a couple more minutes. That's all I'm asking. I'm not asking for a lot. Come on, you can do it. Okay, there. You did it. You did it. You did it. You good. You good little thing. Such a good little choo-choo. I have no idea where this is going. So we need to get over there. It's all we're trying to do. So I need to take the... I need to go through the, the sea, which I think is the pasture station, and go all the way around. Okay, it looks like it's lying that away. Because if I go... Yeah, there's no right-hand turn, so I'd have to back it in to D. Which might be faster. Nah, we should be good. So then I just need to keep left until I get into D. And then 5I is going to be two rights and a left. Okay, so... Left here, left here, and then D, so right, right, so that one's to there, so we're going this way, right, and then left, right. No, I just messed up. Oh god, I just messed up. Oh god, oh god. Jesus. <laughs> Slightly terrifying. <sighs> Take a breather. Take a breather. <laughs> I'll, I'll get better at reading signals. I promise. I can't remember how, what time I had to have. I, I want to say I'm already past it. Okay, just make sure. D5I. Yep. So we just need to drop it here, and then the station house is, like, right to the right. So we'll see. We'll see where we end up. Where? Where is the drop thing? Right here. Uh, this and... Nope, we didn't get it. Took, uh... I took 20 seconds too long. That sucks. What does this bring us up to? 29,000? Uh, let's go ahead and look at uh, what else. Well, let's do our fees for the day. And I'm $700 short. Great. <laughs> what can we do the next time? Oh, there's like nothing going out of here. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. What are you? You're 85 tons. You're going to harbor in town. You're going back the way I come. Oh no. What have I done, guys? Well, what I can do is maybe do some shunting. No, can't do that one. That's too heavy. You're too heavy. You're probably doable. Ugh. Okay. Well, that's where I'm gonna leave it at for this one. I'll have to figure something out. I might, uh, I might just go to another town and see what they've got. But we are getting closer to another, another fun train. Maybe. I mean, how much was it? Licenses. It's. It's literally $200,000. Can I get this one? You must have concurrent jobs two. So we own concurrent jobs one. So I need... I need another... 70 grand, really. I'd like to get logistics haul. Ooh, that's like... I think we're going to have to go with the steam engine. Just to... 
be able to do jobs quickly. So that's going to be the idea. Now there are mods for this game too, and I might be uh, I might be looking at some of those to see what kind of uh, see if there's like a different kind of train or something like that. But uh, like the little shunter is fine, but man, you can't do anything with it. It just it gets hot. Just boom, it gets hot. So we're going to continue on. So thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you are enjoying this. It's a little bit different. Uh, I am probably going to start playing Euro Truck Simulator as well because uh, that's a fun game too. So yeah, we're going to we're going to be doing a few uh, a few different things. Oh look, all my licenses. They're all here in the lost and found. There we go. So, oh, where are the controls? <laughs> Wait, I can use F1 and F2 to move the throttle? What? Train breaking it? Oh my god, guys. No way. I can drive with this? I did not know that. Oh no! <laughs> Guess that's what I get for reading. That's that's actually handy. Okay. Well, we'll um we'll definitely be using those. So F1, F2 to speed up and down on the throttle. Train brake as F3, F4. I like those are really weird keys, but okay. Reverser is five and six. I think that's for the. Okay, no, no, that's that's the actual reverser. Okay, never mind. Then we got the horn. Oh, I could have been doot, 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 on the horn all the time. Sandbox, fire door, and an injector. Oh my god. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye for now.